three man squad of Quicks, Creeper, three. and Dipsolz out towards Rossi, the you need west help, side as well. Right. No, no, Quicks, we're heading good, out to that right very cool. close flag. We do have very close flags when it comes to this infantry of Samari. Close quarters. Yeah, and FA is actually capping uh, Vault Gardens already. They are with their squad one marker is uh, Ross Raider Raiders squad is... now down to around yeah, about uh, ninety percent of people. Everyone taking their time. We're capping will they, neighborhood. Will they spawn in and, and hit Canap? All right, up towards the northern side, it looks like Blitz's squad. Around about 80% down. Fear Academy still will have a really good uh, outfit out towards that slums area. Let's have a look at the flag placement. The Ancient has been capped on the G5 area, down towards the Foxtrot 7, the Ward Garden. Under the control of the Insurgents at the moment, but we do have Fear Academy very, very uh, do we have any close watch to out, watch capping out, that. Watch out, watch out, watch out, we already have uh, four, squad four, three-man squad already on towards the neighborhood on the Echo 7 marker. Rossi, we're gonna keep uh, pushing to fight. Understood. Got they, on that. Stay, they, are not, they are not capping anymore at Wall Gardens. We are good at Wall Gardens. Rossi, ready to stay. They're they not capping. They're not capping anymore at Wall Gardens. No, but the Red Coats are actually capping neighborhood. Yeah, so they've already pushed the three man squad there Creeper, Dipsoz, and Creeks head down towards the south side. Did a bit of flank movie straight uh, behind Fear Academy. Already taking down one, which is Fear Academy's Daisy. Rusky still alive, just uh, the opposite wall of Cricks. Uh, down towards the south side, we do have, it looks like Dean. Fear Academy's Dean there. Still full of Orca, the only one left alive over on Ward Garden, though. Around about, uh, yeah. around about four or so Fear Academies with Hayes heading in from the slums, east side. Neighborhood is holding. Like a uh, hold. They're about to go north and out wall gardens. Don't worry, I'll get my yeah, guys in ASAP. All the insurgent forces are down at slums. Um, US firmly in control. Are you doing control, Cricks when that flag was tennis, mate? We're, we're holding. Yeah, there's neutralizing wall gardens. Neutralization of the wall gardens there. With, uh, looks like Rusty, Dean, back, Cricks, Mato, and Daisy just garden. over towards the neighborhood did stop the cap happening from there. Copy. And over on the Ward Gardens with four guys there in the field. Field. I can hear them. We're gonna see the yeah. red coats just on the back foot hit, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see the three man squad over towards the neighborhood. They're gonna start pushing out from uh, from east to west. But uh, they just have to be what route boys. they do take up towards their northern side. They still have Rusky, Mato, Daisy, and uh, six. And out towards their their east side, they still got Kruch. Uh, Porky, Pinsu, and Run there. They'll get some. They'll get support by Ross Raider and his his squad very very shortly. Dean goes down there. A lot of patience here between the two sides. I think they they really want to win. Uh, Redcoats want to want to beat Fear Academy. Fear Academy want to beat Redcoats. He's a 70, you know, 10 so, there, uh, it, there's no rush plays that I can see. Really everything fire, is so everything is uh, nice and steady. Yeah, the, the U.S. team seem to be um, operating in the south, middle of the map the with the Crick insurgents the out on the flanks at the moment. So the U.S. team are able to control uh, the Central River area. Yeah, and now we're going to see a big push out towards the central area, the Mosque region. Uh, we've got a two team of flag. Irish Ranger Voyager, and we do have around about a two to five man team. On start, Sergeant Krill, easy, Red Six, and Fempo. The, they only, uh, They're now they going to head in from the north down towards the south section. Yeah, yeah, that was playing for the straight south to assist on gardens for the minute. They're pushing pretty hard. Oh, big nade from Hayes. Yeah, I saw that. That was nice. You've also yeah, got Pinsu lock, locking the corridor off with the LMG. Yeah, they're looking really hard on Wall Gardens here. Yeah, they're pushing really, them already. Really and nice spread hard. with the uh, with the Fury Cadians. Still dominant over towards that western sort of section, pushing their guys out from the northern side. We are looking at the slums section. Uh, Fusion, Sandy, Kirby, and Wooly now going to push out from that slum section. That can't be capped anymore. They're going to head down towards the north to the south. Assist there, guys, which is Rossi Raider squad down on the Walled Gardens uh, region. Uh, looks like they're Red Coats are going to stay up, up. Uh, over at the Ancient, which uh, Fear Academy aren't taking Zero any interest uh, out of them, as of yet. I think they're just going to send a. Seems they push around about 90% uh, of their squad down towards the Ward Garden. Yeah, we, 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 we just got some um, comms there. I think um, US are looking to place a fob now. 
I think if you, um, I don't know if you can see, but the whole team is pretty much down the south on War Garden now. Correct. We're going to have Wooly, Sergeant Herhey, and Fusion come into contact out towards the western side. they got Rusky and Sporky to deal with. Wooly's already down, Sergeant Herhey's still alive, now crawling as well as Fusion. Days is Enemies still alive over towards the squad. neighborhood. Enemies are on my location, Cricks. I'm alive, sit up. And Rossi Radar alone. In that compound, oh, he's got Sergeant Krilly very, very close to his position, up to his north. Well, then you deal with that north. farm, uh, Cricks and Rossi, just deal with Walk on. So, so really unlucky. Yeah, so Rossi goes really unlucky down. by Rossi there. Looks like the Redcoats are now going to hold out towards the eastern section, just south of Palace. They do have Creeper down, as well as uh, Relentless Hawk, or Hawk. Medic's doing their best. 150, have, so already 10 minutes of play. You know, we, we do expect to, uh, infantry skirmish to maps to be very, very short uh, in, in terms of maybe 30 minutes of play. 10 minutes of play already. We have 114 tickets for the insurgent yeah, side. How are you guys looking over towards the Americans? We're looking at 148 at the moment. Wow, so only two, two tickets lost. Uh, of course, with those, with those fly caps helping you out in terms of the score. I rally got fired. Copy. Yeah, four four flags to two at the moment in favor of the US. So insurgents, uh, they've got the work to do. Yeah, the biggest problem for uh, Red Coast here is that they are again, obviously bleeding, and FA do not need to push any yeah, other flag there, and mate. just sit on defense as yeah, while much, Red Coast needs to have people on their D flag. So they're definitely fighting from behind here. Yeah, two man squad now. We got Monster and Voyager now heading out to on the eastern side. Already taking We're gonna down Zinn and Walker. We'll screw on this they're gonna head down towards that sort of suit sort of section, I would believe. You want us to keep going down the And they've got a, even a two man squad, which Nordic here, you're following there, Bill Santu, yeah, yeah, yeah. heading all the way around. We need to hit guns with everything we've got. Uh, it's gonna be interesting here. They're coming into Redcoats. They're really lucky they uh, might miss them. And they can do a really sneaky rally. Yeah, maybe in this case, they may come on a contact Dips with Dips Oz Oz there. Right yeah. it, it comes down to, will they engage Dips Oz, or will they let him go and not and not give away their position? Be Enemies sneaky. are on my last location. And I think Mark, that's what they're going to do. Yeah, you can hear Bill Santa calling out that uh, Major should sit, sit still and don't move. They're letting him away not get, to get um, detected. Very good call by Bill there. Yeah, very good call. It's not always about engaging that first sort of... Uh, First enemy that you see, you know, if you're if you're looking to do a bit of a recon or fob hunt or, or whatever, you know, fobs are very delicate when it comes to infantry maps. You know, Twenty tickets, a big chunk of tickets for 150. Um, so it's a, a really really smart call here from Bill Santu as well as Mado. Well, he, yeah, well, shoot, shoot operation minute. from Bill there should allow yeah, them to get the spawn point down. That's a Alright, I'll leave them. I'll let them go. Just have a look at Fear Academy just down on the Ward Garden section. So now we do have, looks like, a two-man or so squad for the Redcoats uh, coming in from the Palace, uh, palace section or we'll Northside Palace. No. We're trying to move on to uh, North of Wall Gardens. Yeah, I've got this pretty, shit pretty locked down for the minute. Have you a look over... you got enemies to yourself. In terms of the... Yeah, copy, placement mate, of the, the, the Fear Academies, guys. You got Sporky and Crooch over towards the western side, north side of the neighborhood. They're on that uh, that hill that usually overlooks the police station. Uh, you had Dean just go down there, just uh, underneath the bridge. You got a three man squad of Blitzes, Scabie, and Grumpy coming in. Dean going down, they already know the direction of uh, where Redcoats are coming from. The Fear Academy can now just in anticipate here. Close to you, South. Yeah. Boys are pushing into wall now. We are getting moving in. A two man squad that we saw before, Monster and Voyager, have now got an Irish Ranger with them. Uh, Monster did go down towards the eastern side, so they're just uh, east of the souk sort of area. Uh, looks like uh, Bill Sands is by himself now with uh, Fear Academy's Mento alone yeah, yeah, towards that far now. east. Copy. A lot of contacts now for the red coats. They, they can't... Hold this one, compound to his well. Yeah, just got dropped. They can't find a way Locked into the... Uh, into this ward garden sort of section. 
I can't place the rally enemies within 50 meters. Copy that, Cricks. Oh wow, Blitzer, very lucky there for Blitzer, just underneath the bridge on the west side of the wall garden. Uh, smoke uh, guys are helping a lot we are making in terms of the insurgents well, the American side. Uh, Rusky gets up one of his guys, which pops up straight in front of Blitzer. Blitzer takes him and uh, Rusky and uh, both of them. It looks like a three-man squad of Fusion, Woolly and Sergeant Curry, just at the east uh, side of the, that police station. Peppering that uh, south side over towards where Rund and Krilly were. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it, it looks like Bill Santu and his um, small flanking squad with Mato running to contact. Mato's gone down. Bill Santu's still up though. Um, and it looks like they're letting each other go. Looks like now the Red Coats are starting to get that foothold that they want on Ward Garden. Uh, they, they're now securing that northern side. They do have uh, Fear Academy Soul up towards the high north. Uh, EJ Monster out towards the, uh, the northeastern section. Yeah, potentially some danger for uh, the US team here if the insurgents can stack up and, and try and storm in and overwhelm with small 762 rounds. US team got off the strong. We now have Blitz and Rossi Raider inside the compound, but out towards their western side, three men squad of the Fury Caddians. Out towards the southern side, we have our uh, Dean, uh, Hayes, and Rusky. Yeah, They're going to start hitting well, that sort down, of suit side. And a three man squad up towards Taxi the northern no, side, no, which have just uh, decimated Sergeant Hersey Fusion. Only Woolly left alive out towards the, the east side of the, 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 to, uh, uh, the, the police station. Sorry. Chase electric down. It's only a couple of guys left alive on the yeah, entrance of the war garden. Let's see now, call them. But they are yeah, recapping the war garden. Coming up to that 15 minutes of play now, more or less the mid game. Into, one. Yeah, the enemies, yeah, one free free uh, there. The yeah, same one free free oh, tickets. 78 for, tickets. Uh, 78 uh, tickets for round one for the for the redcoats. They are very oh, they're behind. heavily behind. The yeah, bleed heavily. is hurting them. Yeah. Yep. Fair Academy just have a really nice structure. In terms of this south, the southern side, there, there has been no speculation, uh, like from our side, they are going to attack Ancient. Um, but again, you know, Redcoats, Redcoats keeping five man squad there just in case they do. You know, you wouldn't like all Redcoats to, to hit down here and then the three guys head up towards oh, Ancient and then they get back capped. So. It, it looks like the uh, US team have managed to uh, maintain control though. Um, Sorry, boys. They're up to our relics in the, the south. Surgeons so got all the work. You can see them spawning in in the distance. They're using the rooftops the quite well as well. well uh, they, out towards well the western side, they're using the, the, the neighbourhoods rooftops there. Uh, they're using the hill just towards the south side of the police station that uh, that came under contact with a, an advancing squad of redcoats just recently, uh, which is re really well uh, executed by Fury Caddy. Uh, they started to push out towards the northern side, and I thought they did. Like, they had around about 80, 90% of their troops up, but then we saw, you know, one to two man squads of Fear, Aca Fear Academy, you know, start to pepper in grenades, took yeah, took a large uh, up, large quantity of the Redcoats down. Yeah, just got revived. Uh, because of the, the, the high yeah, consolidation of the team, you know. Uh, when you have a lot of guys pushing through one alleyway, the, the that one grenade can, can be uh, devastating. Flop. I mean, yeah, yeah you can just see from the aerial view now that the US team, uh, Fear Academy, have got a really nice spread over Wall Garden. None of them are bunched together. They're, they're using their rooftops. They're able to pick up contact as it comes in and react. Good stuff from the US team. Uh, pass lamps or just go to the... Yeah, don't, don't come down the river, mate. It's locked down. You need to break out northwest. Come through slums towards Yeah, compound. the Reds are... They are soon to be needing to put everything on wall gardens if they're going to have a chance to this, just due to the uh, ticket bleed. Yeah, we have FA on 132 at the oh, moment. Yeah, hey, coming up to... Yeah, the coming in that way. And just to give a little note on that, the uh, Redcoats have lost 43 tickets only up, uh, in terms of depth, so the Reds, uh, rest of them... Uh, the rest of those 50 tickets are purely flag and bleed, yep. which uh, gives a little bit of uh, yeah. Yeah, KB is 23, 43 for the insurgents side, Red Coast. They're pushing out of this palace area as well, just blocking us uh, No fobs ta getting taken down at all, no no side has placed fobs, well, I believe. The, uh, the rest is just ticket bleed. 
Uh, if we do have a look at the map sort of situation, you know, we do have still the palace, but the D point for the insurgent forces is the ancient. Uh, four flags to two flags. Get ready for that bleed, and every, yeah. it's starting to hurt him quite a lot. Of course, this is an infantry layer as well, and um, as we've seen in previous broadcasts, infantry layers tend to be um, much more unforgiving, um, fa favouring the fast moves. So, interesting stuff, round yeah, one. Both sides were just out the gates, and they're, they're onto the... Their uh, their flags that they needed to go onto. It looks like maybe Fur Academy try, try and break away now. From you know, have, just yeah, Monster Krilly, Tempo Irish. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying they to They might start to the uh, committing some Can't forces north, out towards south, uh, the ancient. You have Easy coming in from the, air, the the southeast sort of section. Yeah, yeah, you have to wonder now with this uh, tactic. Uh, I think we all expected the uh, insurgent team to push in, but perhaps uh, they're trying to draw them out, stretch the US team off wall guard in a bit. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what the U.S. do. Yeah, Fear Academy, they want to have the, the most amount of tickets, of course, in this round one. It would just put more Contact pressure into the, the Red town. Coast, you know, to take it that round two. Copy. You know, so for instance, if if Fear Academy won by 148 tickets, you know, then the Red Coats would have to win by 149 tickets, you know. <laughs> you know, so uh, in terms now, 60 tickets for the for the red coats on the insurgent side. Still time, boys. If we flip a couple of flags, it's back in our favour. Looking at about 131 on FA still. Yep. Even if your academy's run, heading all the way up high north, he's probably uh, trying to find a, a bit of a route there, somewhere they can maybe flank uh, ancient. Yeah, I have, uh, have the Redcoats put on a fob, but I haven't found anyone. Uh, not at all, so there's no fob by the Redcoats whatsoever, so I think they're, they're, they're pretty much doing a safeguard now. They're, they're only going to commit to the rallies if a rally goes down, or they'll just respawn back at main. You know, by putting that fob down, you know, you could always, uh, you could always lose some of the game if it's just sniffed out, so... Cricks. Of course, the US team does have a far yeah, in Heckle 7, Keeper 9, um, just in support of Wall Garden, so that they're able to resupply yeah. troops quickly. Well, it has, has been marked. Possibly. It actually ha I just had a notice there when you said that the Echo 7, Keeper 9, it has been marked. So, we do have Wooly Fusion and Sergeant Her here just out keep towards that west. They're hitting this, this side of the cap very hard, south side point, they get hit so very hard. As much, you know, uh, if they, they were to change the plan, successful, they didn't move use blitz, so, much, uh, so much so uh, much assets yeah, or, yeah, or manpower. That's a beautiful grenade there by Irish. Takes down Fusion, nice underarm there. But if they were to take down this FOB, 20 tickets, it's still there's a large gap in, the, in in terms of tickets, even if they didn't lose Crick's one is soul. in Palace, northwest entrance. I'm going to mark it on my map. Copy that. Around about 90% uh, of all palace forces down there of that four-man squad. Have to deal with a couple of Fear Canadians out towards their west region, just on the Moss section. Ado and Bill Sansu constantly respawning. They're drawing away a couple of the, the Redcoats guys out towards that far far east section. You've got uh, Creeper, Cricks, uh, Dips Oz. Alright, Blitz, you'll be hearing some contact to your east now. That's me moving up. Yeah, they're holding them off from the cap zone very well. Red still have a loss on the defense flag, and FA is yeah, doing no, have no ball. interest of pushing up there whatsoever. Yeah, yeah we're pushing the all, have they? Have yep. they? Nope. Redcoats expressing Take. that that fob is a is a pure nuisance for them. Um, they both Rossi Raider and Blitzer yeah, want to get rid of that fob. There's going to be minimal contact on that cap, boys. They're just sped up for them, mate. We've got nothing on Kanat. We'll see. We are. Uh, we'll see how many forces they Seems like the entire to force is down to the south. Still, uh, Sergeant Hersey, Woolly, and yeah, we have Fusion. enemies way up on our position here, south of Maine. Yeah, the fob yeah, obviously. If they're doing a trademark thing, um, resupplying their GLs and keeping and everyone the outside of the perimeter with those you. GLs, doing a great job Rossi, out as well. Rossi, let let Woolly work that on his own. Get yourself the fear of those grenades are is a real danger. Yeah, copy. Just put the red. Yeah, I think uh, the, the GL is the, perhaps the most potent weapon um, on, on an infantry layer. The neighborhood is being held uh, pretty hard, I don't think it can... 
They're digging up fob, they're digging up some. Right, Rossi, get in that fob radius when you can. Yeah, copy that on the yeah, way we're down. We're gonna see Rossi radar. He's gonna start bringing down his five man squad. Pushing up on that, uh, just outside the east side of police station now. Gonna get his rally down. Three man squad now down. We're all dead. Uh, I think they're on the roofs right next. So now red coats have to. They have a two, two battlefronts here. Got, just sit got back and get people on the guns for the minute. On the east side, over towards War Gardens, and they got people in towards the neighborhood section. So. Don't hit the enemy fob. Ross Raider is committed to finding this fob and, and neutralizing and getting rid of it, but he has to deal with quite a number of insurgents. It's the fob. Fob is still here. Fob. No, 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 no. Fob is still up. Fob is here still. 40 tickets remaining. Coming up to almost 30 minutes of play. Nice little underarm throw there by Norco on the neighborhood section. Takes down Rusky. Again, it's a maze, isn't it? Like in terms of Samari, you know, getting through, finding where this fob is located. I think Norka now, he's gonna, he's very, very close to that fob over towards the neighborhood section. Buddy Zim just going down there. Norka going down as well. Very lucky spawn there by Ease. When he spawned in on that fob, he was able to uh, spawn on top of it and look straight over the wall. Three man squad just south side of the wall. If so, it's crazy. There's enemies on my body. There's enemies on my body, mate, below me. The FA just reporting on comms there that there is a small gap starting in the southern side, calling for reinforcements is, to fill it. Yeah, that is correct. So we do, we do, we did have Creeper, Cricks and Dipsos still alive in that sort of section. You know, Red Six Voyages gone down on that that area and another Fury Cadian. Now the the resupply on that fob. It's allowing for the, the Fury Caddies now to push back over towards the War, war Garden area. Crick's still alive. Our rally's gone. Rossi, close on the fuel. Watch it out, Willie Hurd. Nice impression by yeah, there from Pinsu, sure. just out towards the west, Can't taking in Dips Oz. A lot Lovely of, stuff. Yeah, beautiful suppression there out towards There's the so neighborhood. There's almost been for north. the minute. The tight teams down here. We just can't breach. North neighborhood uh, area. Rossi Raider, unfortunately, just calling into blitz yeah, there. Not much we could do there. Yeah, the, we, just, we just keep getting wiped. They've they got the entire force down here. 80% of the, the team down. Uh, oh, so was, a, um, a lot of uncertainty. That the, yeah, a lot of uncertainty yeah, for yeah, Rossi Raider. He can't breach. Sit on the, bleed. The, the push on like the, the fob must have cost the insurgents team so like, some tickets. Yeah, one, one, one free for the yeah, USD. Yeah, 29 tickets in, in terms of tickets over here. So um, they, they've lost a, around, let's say, maybe 13 or so tickets trying to get this. And Blitzer knows so, that uh, what they're doing is they, they're, they're holding. They're playing drills, they're playing drills. Yeah, Try to get yeah, that's all they. Well, that's all they're they're, they're planning to do is just hold the ward garden area. They've got the four four flags in play. They've got the ticket bleed. Blitzer knows that. He said that. I think that's why now he's going to push out a, a large majority of forces, leaving three guys on there. From the Taz Gear, CKY, and Grumpy, you're going to stay. I think the best taking out this fob, trying to wipe them tickets out. Yeah, this could, this yeah, yeah. the yeah. FA lead really is so big that minute, it's so very hard to take go, to, 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 to overtake that. Basically, what they can do now is try to get the U.S. tickets as low as possible, and then come yeah, winning with more tickets at the U.S. side. Exactly. Get over with yeah, the, th think over about the round here. two. Yeah, think about that round two. Get down those tickets. Um, Rossi Raiders, he wants to commit the entire forces, the insurgents, over on that fob and get it down. Copy Blitz, the south of my two guys now, LMG Mark. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see here Copy. 10 minutes ago, just leaving one guy, risking one guy on defense, uh, so he can tell them if to start capping and then committing everyone on the flag. Exactly. Well, Gardens is such a key that that is something you need to do at this situation. We, we can sense the closing battles of this, uh, closing stages of this first round battle coming in now. Um, there's an insurgent the fire team uh, just being stopped. 
FFA around comms, really yeah, trying, yeah. trying well, to react to um, every contact. Space to move it. No, he's down, he's down. Three tickets gone, 109 now. Yeah, 15 tickets remaining now. Blitz's squad, you know, they took around about two hits there, that five-man squad. Yeah, Blitz is now held up uh, the northern side of the Ward Gardens with bats. He's got a medic up towards there. I think it may be Scavey. He's got up uh, Cheers Elric for the there. medic play, boys. Cheers for the medic play. Fobby's still active. Fear Academy just ruthless. Ruthless in terms of playing this uh The this entire round. north of the enemy fob is under I think it's, yeah, it's caught the red codes by organized. surprise. Yeah, I think it's caught them yeah, just a bit by surprise. Well man. Yeah, a bit a bit by surprise. They've here. got uh got placements on board It's probably still in the range of the fob. Bill here. killing uh, them from behind. Yeah, just out towards that east. Position. Yeah, beautiful yeah, Bill, position. Bill sends his favorite one, position one east, from behind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm waiting. Being I'm a little uh Annoying bitch in the background. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah. Working, working, shots man. fired! Oh, shots CCFN, fired! CCFN. CCFN. <laughs> this Sunday, guys, Steve CCFN alone. 52. Uh, <laughs> Join us this Sunday. Work. The, the Reds are constantly checking their uh, their six just because of this flanking that uh, Matt and uh, Bill Santo are doing. Just down it's on working that very, very well. Yeah, down on that yeah, suit sort of area. Two -man squad. Of course, yeah. uh, Fear Academy uh, electing to operate three squads from the beginning, Bill Santo and Mato. Um, and they've done their job. I think Mato has gone down a few times, but Bill Santo has managed to stay up and keep the pressure on. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that their, their KD is kind of low, but it doesn't really matter. It's the fact that the uh, insurgents can't advance as fast as they want because they, they have the uh, guys annoying them in the back all the time. And the amount of information that Bill has called out in these squad comms is just very, very key for FA here. I think we, we've seen that several times recently, Nordic. Um, I think it's a, a tactic your own clan have employed where um, a small squad making a very big impact operating on the flanks. Got medics working yeah, definitely. We had a little needle punch squad in our last, uh, last scrim, getting, looking for fobs and everything like that, which is basically what Bill is doing as well. Probably notice as well, all the red coats are down, aren't respawning. Why is that? Only four tickets remaining, so it's been 30 minutes of round one. So, Fear Academy we'll at the... definitely take out this round one. Yeah, we're looking at 107, to tic it's 107 tickets here at the FA side, so it's gonna be a little, uh, it's gonna be a, an uphill battle for our RC. More than 100 tickets uh, win here. Is by him, so it's north from my last RP location. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah seen, Daisy he's calling seen. out that they're not giving up, so they know it's close now. Who have we got up? We've got Cheeks, we've got Rossi Raider, we got Wooly. There's only a couple up. I think Wooly will go down to Bill Santo. Bill Santo looks towards the south. Wooly, Krilly, oh. Wooly goes down. Rossi Raider up, but he's looking the wrong way. Hayes there. Krilly comes around the corner. Thing. Yeah, I've been talking Shut to him. There we, go. there we go. Let's see what the reactions are for the Redcoats here. That ticket be dope. That ticket bleed though, <laughs> it has been called the ticket bleed. So if you look at the KDs there, 40, 48 to 67, 67 to 48. Uh, but yes, the ticket bleed and the red coats do know it. That four flags to two flags. Your uh, academy just getting straight, straight off the bat. I think I think both sides got straight off that bat. Um, you know the the, the red coats hit. Hit both sides, you know, where they wanted to. They hit the north, the northern side flags, hit the southern side. But I think Fear Academy, they they knew their attack, what they wanted to do. Once they they committed their forces down towards the south and getting that walled garden, as we saw, is that they just held their forces there and they didn't want to advance any any more. You know, they I think they came into it knowing the ticket bleed. If we capture them there, then it's it's we can defend and they have to constantly attack to try and get this flag back placing that fob out towards the the neighborhood section a, a constant re, uh constant resupply there committing some forces over towards the neighborhood and over towards the war garden 
little squads that you saw Bill Santu and Maytu you know, go around, maybe even looking for 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 fobs of the Redcoats, which Redcoats didn't play. Your academy just just outclassing, yeah, I, I would say. Uh, the, the Redcoats very very, very organised performance from them. Um, I mean, thinking back, um, you can usually um, pick out a pivotal moment where, where the tables turned, or but uh, it's it's quite hard to do that uh, for that, that round for me. I think um, FA came out of the blocks very organised. They elected to control the centre of the map, um, and and they did that ruthlessly. Um, over a hundred tickets round one. Round two is going to be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna see. Fear, yeah, well, Fear Academy are gonna are gonna take the the insurgents, and the Red Coats are gonna take the the Americans. So we'll soon, see what happens. Uh, Nordic. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Uh, in my opinion, uh, US being a little bit stronger on the map, coming up uh, hard, and then taking the uh, walled gardens, and then si simply sitting there. It's always hard being on the back foot, especially on such a small scale where one soldier down does much more a per percentage difference than in a 36 versus 36 game. I think if, I think for some viewers as well, um, it, it's it's quite bizarre watching an, an infantry layer because um, a lot of players are, are used to AAS, so they're used to watching AAS um, mode on on Sundays and CCFM, but sort of infantry layers. That's um, that's kind of the background of um, squad competitive up until V7, um, and and you know that's um, re really cutthroat action. You've got to get in there, and uh, it's very unforgiving. 150 tickets. Yeah, we, that's all they play for. We we just saw like Tactical Tuesdays a, a couple of weeks ago. We saw Redcoats versus Alex Ray Delta, and that round one, I think Redcoats taken out with 148 tickets. I think it was. Um, it's because Alex Ray Delta in that that round one, you know, went into the mindset of the game. It's like, oh, it's a 30. It, it's a it's a bigger map. It's a 30 v 30 type map. We ha we have the have uh the idea. Let's send our squad up towards the north for. 